welcome back to our travel adventures. We are Hannah and Jeremy and Henry, and we are the Savory Suitcase. On this week's video, we head into Northern Georgia and visit Amicalola Falls State Park with a very unique Airbnb stay right outside of the park. But first, what would a road trip be without a stop at the world famous Bucky's? Bucky's have only recently started popping up outside of Texas and started opening in Georgia as of 2020. It's always a madhouse, but this day was especially crazy due to the holiday travelers. We made our way the rest of the way through Georgia, passing through Atlanta and arriving in the outskirts of a little town called LJ. LJ is known as the Apple Capital of Georgia and the closest town to Amicalola Falls State Park, which is a big draw in the area. The town only has a population of around 2,000 people, but despite its size, still has a charming downtown area and award-winning wineries, but more about that later. When planning this trip, we searched for unique accommodations, knowing that there weren't many hotels in this area and we were excited to find this recently restored geodesic dome cabin originally built in 1984. available to book on Airbnb for about $230 per night. We'll drop a link in the description below so that you can book your own trip. Sitting right on the edge of Amicalola Falls State Park, are sweeping views of the park, with the lodge just visible off in the distance. The dome was beautifully appointed, making for a comfortable right at home stay. It was also dog friendly and had a setup just for Henry. During the 1970s, geodesic domes were built for backyard fun, and DIY versions of geodesic domes grew in popularity. This one was built in the early 80s and features tongue and groove pine walls and ceilings, 
and an open floor plan with a view of Amicalola. Recently restored and furnished with mid-century modern pieces calling back to when the domes began to grow in popularity. The very top point of the dome is called a cupola. This is a standard view cupola, which operates as a venting system for the dome. As hot air rises to the top, wind blowing over and around the cupola sucks the hot air out, kind of like a chimney. The next morning, as temperatures dropped down into the 30s, it was time to light the wood-burning fireplace. Only about a 10 minute drive away, we decided to visit the park that afternoon once it had warmed up slightly. All of Georgia's state parks are only $5 admission, which is technically to cover your parking. We stopped by the visitor center, which was just recently built, and grabbed a map. The most popular hike to do is the Lower Falls Trail, as it doesn't include any stairs, and it has the most complete view of the falls from the base. However, that trail was closed for repairs during our visit. So we drove all the way to the top of the falls to enjoy the view from above and contemplated taking the stairs to the bottom, but what goes down must come up. We talked to a ranger who pointed us in the direction of the West Ridge Falls Access Trail, which is about halfway down and accessible from a parking lot, with about a half a mile walk to the viewpoint. Amicalola Falls is the tallest waterfall in Georgia, plunging 729 feet in seven cascading tiers. The park also has a campground with traditional sites and some new glamping tents that you can rent. There is also a lodge, which we could see from the dome cabin. And although the trail did not give us a view of the entire falls, it was still beautiful and we did get great views of the lodge and surrounding landscape.
hike, we found our way to the Fainting Goat Winery, which is dog friendly, not only on the patio, but also in their tasting room. We opted for the patio because it did have a view of the goats, although none fainted while we were there. On our final morning in the dome, it snowed. It was probably considered more of a flurry, but it was still very exciting for us Floridians who have only seen snow maybe a handful of times. Next week we visit Blue Ridge, another Georgia mountain town, and ride the Blue Ridge Scenic Railway. We will see you then.